<laughs> well, good night <laughs> at the, my dog's staring at me, Flying Can Ranch from Cedar Creek, Lake, Texas. Uh, earlier today, I was, I did a tabletop review on this uh, Glock 17, um, I'm trying to see this real well, and I'm not. I believe it was a Gen 5. Uh, it's a pellet pistol. And while I was trying to do the shooting review, uh, I was trying these um, Game of Tomahawks through it, and it instantly started jamming. So I knocked all the pellets back out of it, and I... Uh, I went to something that worked very well, but it continued to jam. So, a little bit my fault. Um, should have caught on this much earlier. It was getting pellets hung up in the barrel for whatever reasons. So, when I tried to get the pellets out, I ended up uh, snapping the, the barrel loose from inside the slide. And now it is slightly deformed the back of the barrel because it slammed back into this piece here and only got two of the pellets out and there's still one in it um you can lock it shut uh if you give me one second i think i can let the side go and it acts like a shooting if i put the slide back in and i've got all the pellets out of it oh i still got a co2 in it by the way and there's nothing in it. I guarantee there's nothing in it. Um, it's still wanting to hang. See, right there, I just shot it. So I don't know if the belt itself on the magazine is done for. I can, if you let me set the phone down a second, back it. And then I can see it's jammed up. Now, if I was to release the slide which is getting harder and harder to do and get the slide to come back out um, put it back in rack it and then I can nothing nothing that thing. So, well, hold on. See now, I'm, I'm I'm jammed up again. Once I put that in, so if I remove it, and you'll have to bear with me because I'm working off a cell phone, and I spin the uh, magazine around. Again, I it's nothing in it. I get one shot, two shot, three shot. And then it jams up again. There's no pellets in it. So I, I I really don't know if that's... Well, first of all, I still have something stuck in the barrel. Uh, which may be contributing to this. Um, personally, I think the gun's done for. That's that's just my opinion. I don't see any way to... to uh, I don't I don't really feel good about it. I can take it out. Let's see if we get anything here. Nothing falling out of it. Slam it back in. Nothing. If I take it out and I... Bear with me a minute. Well, there could be an issue. Let me spin this back around. If possible. Something has happened here that is, just got to bear with me just a second. I made a little discovery. We're going to bring this around like so. I don't think, but I have something that might work. Um, bring it around, bring it around, bring it around. Bring it around, I'll have to go back the other way. Back up, back up. Um. Ah, 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 
Hey, 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 stop all that. Let me turn it this way. Now I can put it back in. Stop it. You will wait. And we will pull the hammer. I can jack it. Nothing. Brock, stop. Today. Give me one second here. I think these guys are going to drive me nuts until I... Come here. Come on. They want to run out the door here. Come on. And they do this about every time I make a video. So we're going to let them out. Hold the door open. Um, as I was saying, uh, I think the gun itself is beyond any repair. I can I can manipulate the mag, the belt, and uh, that may have done something there. Spin it around, put it back in, and it will get on that. I'm getting it to work, but I still have something to see there jammed up again. So, I'm not going to go any further with it. Um, am I going to replace it with another one? Probably. I don't know yet. Because in the time I had it working, it worked good. And and I didn't have a problem until I put the game of Tomahawks in it. That's when they got jammed in the barrel, and that sort of thing went crazy. At the time I had it working... It was really working good once I got the, the belt loosened up and things like that. I just I just don't like you'll bear with me one more second. I don't like because I had a SIG with this same belt design. And I just don't I don't like it. It it, it has too many flaws to it. Now I know some guys have got these. I've read a lot of comments on various things. And I've watched other videos. And people seem to make them work. But I also heard that that a lot of them like the gun. The fit and finish was much better. But the gun itself had issues. And see, that's turning very freely. Uh, bear with me. I found something here. So we're going to flip this around. Yeah, I'm finding a lot of things here. So it, it's... Um, I can experiment with it a little bit more. I don't think I'm going to be able to, uh, to get it to work. I might try something tomorrow, but I think the damage to the rear of the barrel is going to prevent it from functioning like it's supposed to. I think it's a wash. That's just my opinion. Until I can get the other pellet out of the barrel, it's not going to do anything. And the more I try to do that, the more it slides back and it smashes into the back of the the uh, receiver part. And as you can see, that's has already started to slightly deform the back area of the barrel. I don't remember that barrel sticking back that far anyway. So I'm undecided really whether I'm going to replace it. Uh, it definitely does not close as quickly and as aggressively as it used to when I first got it. Really, it would snap shut. Now it's very slow. You know, see, I, right now it wouldn't even go unless I held it back a little bit. And at that time, it was a little quicker. Again, I, I, I have to get it up against something and before I could just pop that and would let go. So, I'm undecided whether I want to. I, I, like I said, I threw away the uh, the uh, the little package that it came in, so I really can't return it. I just have to eat it and buy another one. That's on me. The fact that I put the tomahawks in it, uh, that might be on me also. So, um, it's kind of a, my fault in a design flaw. As far as I'm concerned, I like the feel of it. 
it's very realistic. I would I would definitely say if you was to get one of these, I wouldn't go waving around in the public. Um, it'll get someone's attention. They might think you're carrying the real gun. It felt real good once I figured out how to, you know, now see without the mag in it, pull it all day long. But, again, issues. So, that's about the best I can add about it this time. So, it's kind of a buyer beware. Um, like I said, I, I watched a couple of videos where guys were just flying stuff out of it like crazy. Didn't see no problem. I did good with it with the two different pellets I was using. And uh, checked the skirts real well. Finally got the trigger kind of smoothed out. He was hitting really well. It was doing this and doing that. But I put, I put those Gamo uh, tomahawks in there, and that's, that's where he went down the hill. So if I got another one, I would definitely stick with those, uh, the... Um, I think they're called the, the Crossman Destroyers or just the flat wad cutters. But, you know, uh, as it is, um, this base is just a wall hanger. That's all it is. That's all it's ever going to be from this point on as far as I'm concerned. I, I might play with it. If I can get it to work, I'll make a shooting video. If I can't, which I probably won't, you know, I'll just let it go. So, that's just my honest opinion now i'm sure people hit me in the comments and say hey, it works great i never had a problem with it i've done this i've done that and and you know what i'd like to say very very good for you not mad at you you know i made some comments about some sigs back in the day and i had several people say oh they're great they don't they work wonderful mine's work fantastic well you know what i'm, I'm glad you were that lucky I had the same problem with the Umarex Synergies. Um, I never had one. I, I think I've got one left, but something happened to it. It's very, very loud. The other two are just, you know, uh, the first one I had, I trashed or I sent it back, got another one, and um, took that one back, and it seemed to be all right, and then it just started smashing pellets and locking them up in the barrel, and and then got another one, and, and it did the same thing. And uh, <coughs> a friend of mine on another air gun site said, oh, I've never had a problem. And he's very happy with it, but I just, uh, I couldn't I couldn't abide with it. I, I wouldn't get another one. I wouldn't recommend it. That's just my personal opinion. So that is how we do it at the Flying Can Ranch, and uh, we'll keep you informed on it. Later.